Today I'm going to show you how to make a water shader in Godot 4.2. So to start off, you're going to want to set up a mesh instance. For now, you can set up a sphere shade. There's also going to be a preview in the inspector panel. So you want to create a standard material. Do this under the material property once you create a mesh. This will create a new standard material 3D that we can edit. Click on the material now. Go to the transparency and set the transparency property to alpha. Now go to alpha and set the color to some form of blue. Preferably a lighter shade, but you can use whatever floats your boat. Then after you set the color, make it more transparent with the color wheel. You want to do this by lowering the A value. Then set the roughness of the water to 0.5. Then enable the normal map and assign it a noise texture. Click on the noise and enable the N3D space property. Enable seamless and set seamless blend to 1. Also enable as normal map. That's another property under noise. Give the noise property a fast noise light texture. You can kind of cycle through each option and experiment to see what you want. But once you've set on your desired look, go to UV1 and assign all three properties a scale of 0.5. Then enable the UV1 triplanar and the world triplanar properties. And then you can enable proximity fade if you want, but it's not really important for this tutorial. Distance fade is important since I want to take up the whole scene. So enable that and set it to pixel alpha. This will make it fade instead of being cut off and instantly going black. From here, you can keep on making changes till you get what you like. But if you are finished, then it's time to convert this material to a script. You will do that by clicking on the drop down and convert it to shader material. Now when you click on the material all the original options are gone and we just have shader parameters which is what we want. You can still edit the materials and colors and roughness but all the options we didn't make changes to are gone. Click on the script icon next to the shader and the shader editor should open up. This should just be a new tab that pops up at the bottom of your screen with a bunch of code. Now if you want the water to flow gently, scroll down till you find UV1 triplanar pose and then at the end of this line add the time variable. Do that using the plus operator and in all caps put time afterward. Then in your scene you will see the water moving but it's moving really fast. We need to slow it down so add a multiplication operator or just an asterisk and put the value 0 0.01 afterwards. And now you see it moves slowly and at the pace we want. You can change the value to whatever speed you like. Once you find the right speed, you're done. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.